is a girl. She's a star. She's got style. Steffi Star, you see her face around the town. She's popular. Steffi Star. Hello. I'm Stephanie Weinstein. And I'm Meredith Keach. And we're top-notch real estate agents with Cool Banker. Welcome. We're here with Lauren Rabb, Tony Soros. Now, you go by Tony, Anthony, Ant, Tones. <laughs> what do you prefer at the podcast? Uh, today, we will uh, we'll focus on Tones. 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 Let's go Tones. S. Tones. I like the S. All right. I'm in. Tones. Tones is bringing the male element here. Yeah. He's common our estrogen. Yeah. Let's start with uh, football. Oh my goodness, really? You're gonna yeah. It's a nod to you. Okay. There you go, Anthony. <laughs> Tones. Well, this is a Schwarz. depressing week to talk about football Why? because the Patriots are officially out yeah, of but, the playoffs. Okay, but we kind of knew that for a while. Yeah, was there a good week to talk about football this year? Uh, well, listen, if they went to Buffalo and won. Yeah, but the NFL wasn't going to let them win. No, that, was, that game was epic, by the way. I'm not. Uh, I'm usually not much of a Buffalo fan. Yeah. But to watch the opening kickoff, uh, punt return, uh, and then to have another. By the way, that hadn't happened in I believe it was three years and three months, to the day since that had happened previously. What, what happened? What? Wait. What? The punt return oh. for it. So the kickoff, the yep. initial kickoff, yep. uh, was a, a punt return for a touchdown. That hadn't happened in three years oh, and wow. three months. Mm -hmm. And the player that was down the previous Monday is number three. So they were really playing yeah, for him. Uh, it was DeMar Hamlin, which is amazing. It's, so I started rooting for them at that point. It was crazy. Wait, I want to go back to Maris' opening comment. Yes. Uh -oh. When you said the NFL wouldn't have let the Patriots win that mm. game. What, are you saying the football games are fixed? Well, word on the street is that some of the referee timing calls, blah, 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 mm. were in the favor of Buffalo. Am I wrong? No. Okay. I, I think that happens at times. And it's... It seems like an odd coincidence. But nobody really wanted the Patriots to move forward because they're not no. going to go that far. No. And so it's not good viewership for the NFL. No. And now the Dolphins have the uh, privilege of going up to Buffalo and playing them. So that's going to be fun. Mm. They're going to get... They're going to get annihilated. Just my Who, the opinion. Dolphins? I think so, yeah. My second favorite team. Really? Really? Yes. I like the colors of the uniform. And I feel like... That's why I like the Raiders. I love a fleur-de-lis. Oh. oh and the black. Sorry, the you Saints. like the black? Is that the, sa the black? The ah. Blue. Saints. Florida. The Saints, yeah. Saints. Pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the Raiders because I like their black and silver. The black and silver, but it's the fleur de lis yeah. that I really get attracted to. Now, wasn't the Dolphins like, it, it was it Jimmy Johnson? Squish the fish. Back in the day. And yeah. didn't he have a team full of criminals? My so wife? what? Uh, yeah, I don't Nobody know. cares. Yeah, Who cares, an interesting, interesting team. Um, I, I, well, what they do have is the quarterback who's gone down twice this year with concussions, but he's expected to come back. But to a Tunga by Loa. I think I got it close. Oh. But he, uh, yeah, he's expected to come back. But man, every time he falls, he gets a concussion. I don't, I, I'd be shocked if he has a long career in the NFL. Um, but we'll see what happens. I mean, you know, you hope for the best for someone like that, but it'll be interesting if he's, if he's able to continue in the NFL. I mean, in a way, football is becoming almost a little more savage because the players are bigger, stronger, faster. Mm -hmm. They've got good equipment, but I mean... The old school wow. players would argue that um, there's a, there are a lot of, um, a lot of uh, protections being put in there for like the quarterback. The quarterback never had as much protection as they do in today's game. So that you see these penalties, roughing the passer and all these other things. They didn't have as much protection back in the day. Okay. Uh, so they have a longer career. Look the at Tom Brady. Yeah, right, right. Got so it. So they have a much longer career. You see them going into the 40s. Back in the day, the Terry Brad Bradshaw days uh, with uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers and all that, when he got hit, oh, my goodness. I mean, they were, those were men's men. Is that why he's a little loopy? Yeah. yeah. I think Maybe. so, but yeah. he, I think he was probably loopy at birth. I mean, oh. he's just one of those guys, <laughs> <laughs> just my opinion. <laughs> and what happens for you here? Now, you guys had season tickets. Yep. We Patriots. did. We did. It was so much fun. 
and so so that's done. Nothing right now. So yeah. uh, they sent uh, they sent the the. Um, cordial email that says you know apologies for the uh, f for the season oh, sorry yeah. we had a we didn't have a great year and uh, you know we we uh, promised that you know we plan to make it better we're gonna look at ways to improve the team yada 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 yeah uh, the one thing that actually is kind of cool is this upcoming season they've opened a whole new area of the uh, of that Gillette Stadium up Oh. Uh, it's going to be very much more interactive. There are a lot of uh, there's going to be areas for you know kids that'll be more interactive, et cetera. So, and one of the largest um, uh, jumbotrons oh, in the country. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, so it's going to be pretty wild. I think I'm looking forward to this upcoming year. Hopefully, they make a few changes to make them a better team, but we'll see how that goes. What'll happen with Mac Jones? Uh, don't. Why do you have to even bring this up? Sorry, because we're talking football. Maybe. No. Go ahead, Anthony. I, I want to be positive today. <laughs> no, Anthony, do what you always do. You were screeching about Mac Jones. You said you had faith in him, and now you don't. And they need to get rid of him, no. and we need a new quarterback. And don't take it back because that's what you I said. Won't. So I, I used. Uh, so there's a. I'm not a great golfer, and I one of the things I do when I'm golfing, I'll play 18 holes. Let's say 17 horribly. You are the best dressed golfer, though. Thank you. <laughs> so Tony so, has a lot of costumes. I, I'm a like, lot. where is this going? With he the wears golf? knickers, but, a well, cap. Well, my point is, songs. my point is, by the time I hit the 17th hole, I feel like I'm taking up tennis. I'm done he with sucks. golf. You play the 18th hole, and for whatever reason, you play really well on the 18th hole. It makes you want to come back. Mm -hmm. My point is, with Mac Jones, his season was not great. He was painful to watch. Mm. I have to admit that last game, he looked good. So it's making it's scaring me a little bit that that last game, he, he had a lot of there were a lot of positive plays and he looked like the quarterback we had hoped he would be yeah. or become. I don't know. He I mean, are they going to put that out? out? Yeah, well, well you Took think. Him all season. You think, Lauren? You I think wouldn't say he figured it out because no. we lost. Right. So that's true. Yeah. No, I think he had a really good start. Yeah. I was impressed by him at the beginning. Yes. And then it sort of went down from there. And then it was zappy. And then it was all calls I don't know. for zappy. All I know we'll is say. that going to the games is so much fun. <laughs> I drink one or two martinis before the game. Then we get to the game, and then I drink the vodka um, cans. And then I eat junk food. And then I high-five everyone around me. And we <laughs> scream and we yell. But wait, what was the game oh. changer for you? The parking. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the parking. Because you yeah. seem to really enjoy it once you got that. Once that I wasn't had to walk down Route 1 anymore and hang out at horrible tailgates with men burping in my face and using a porta potty, <laughs> then I loved going to the games. It was just, a, it, was, it changed everything. Ugh. You know, Anthony, he loves going to sporting events. He is a man's man when it comes to sports. Yeah. It does, he will watch. He loves every single team. He loves the Bruins, the Celtics, everyone he loves college sports so it's a lot for me so he and he needs somebody to talk to about this right. so he often <laughs> talks to me about all these sporting and I just go mm, yeah but I'm not even listening but I have to say the other day we went to the Celtics game so much fun the Celtics game is a whole other different vibe mm -hmm. when you go in person they it's just you know They're it's like giants it's yeah and it's just smaller and every yeah. second they have are they're coming out with entertainment you know, anytime there's a break or a whistle's blown, and there's so many things for the kids to do right. during those breaks, it's unbelievable. And Anthony likes to taste a lot of different foods. Um, so right before we had gone to the Celtics game, we had stopped off at Novara, where, what did you have for dinner? I had the sausage. Um, sausage. And uh, penne. Penne pasta. With, with, before, with the vodka sauce. Okay. Before so, yeah. <laughs> So he usually people grab a burger. Right. So he woofed that down. For those of you who are listening and don't know, he has a hashtag. He does have a hashtag, hashtag Tony Eats, and you will find that on my Insta stories on a daily basis. I have got so many followers because of Tony Eats. And when I go away on vacation and he's not with me, people message me and say, Excuse me, when are you going home? We miss Tony Eats. Nobody cares about my real estate stuff that I'm posting, that I, I do thoughtful posts about that. No one cares. They just want to see Tony Eats. And they also send me terrible messages how they hate him because he eats so much and doesn't gain any weight. This is 
Sure. And I have I say I know, I know, I know. So anyway, so I after he eats, warm. yeah, he could. You might have a parasite. You should probably should go to the doctor. Oh my! So after he had the sausage and penne pasta, mm. we then got to the game where he said, "I'll be right back," and came back with a hot dog <laughs> <laughs> and a giant thing of popcorn for me, Delicious. which I wasn't even hungry. But of course, you know, when you're sitting there and having fun, how can you not eat popcorn? I was shoveling. I couldn't get it in my mouth fast enough. <laughs> And he whiffed down his hot dog, and then, I'm really embarrassed to say this, but we left at the beginning of fourth quarter. Mm. Maybe, a, maybe a few minutes into the fourth quarter. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Well, yeah. We Why were, are you embarrassed? Well, because everyone's like, wow, that game was amazing, because mm. the end was everything. Mm. Oh. And we had left, but I pretended we stayed. I listened to it. I was listening to it on Sirius and, you know, did my thing. So it was fine. Yeah, but sometimes you kind of have to do that. We don't like traffic. For sanity to get out. We don't want, we don't, uh, right, we don't like the traffic. And who wants to just sit and wait for an hour to get out of the parking garage or wherever? Right. So this is it. Well, the Celtics are still, so we still have to listen to the Celtics. How about the Bruins? Bruins Love are really doing well. The Maybe you need to go to a Bruins game. Shout Anything out to Kathy lies. Cosgrove on the Bruins. She is the number one fan. Really? Yeah. Oh, my. Anything well, live she lives is a in good town. take. Anything live. Right. And by the way, I only had water. Oh, oh yeah, to... Anthony's dry doing January. dry January. Let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. mm. Lauren, where do you weigh in on dry January? Why does it have to be January? Mm. Um, the new I've year. never yeah, Why couldn't it be February, month? Anthony? Yeah, it's so cliche. So um, cliche. I think I have an answer. Tones, apparently, you're cliche. Boring. An Yawn. <laughs> You guys, you guys are overthinking it. So here's the thing. So for me, it was a problem uh, back when um, if the Super Bowl were in one of the days in January, it would be problematic because I'm like, I'm not going to watch the Super Bowl and not have a beer, let's say. In January, I mean, other than are you going to are you going to be upset that you're missing Martin Luther King Day, not drinking on that day? There are no like holidays. So February, Super Bowl, March, St. Patrick's Day. As you go into all these other months, you realize there's probably a day that you want to have some fun, festivities, whatever. January is kind of a dry month, hmm. <laughs> if you think about it. There's not a I lot going on. I find it too limiting. Oh. I... <laughs> so boring. Now, are you doing it like what? What for what purpose? Just because you can? Uh, a, a detox. Oh. I mean, literally, just have my body just shed some of that nonsense I nice. have. Think about it. There, uh, if you think about uh, November, Thanksgiving, and all the Christmas holiday, Christmas holiday parties, Ugh. I mean, stop it. I, I had enough tight. by Tuesday the end of nights. December. It was time. Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> just to make take a break. Night. Yeah. So now, you guys go out to dinner every night. We do. So uh, by default, does that mean that you're having dry January? No, I'm not. But really, how much have you... I haven't because it's so boring. Okay, so by default, he's like, you're I'll doing have a soda January. water with a splash of crayon and a lime. <laughs> Lauren, what so do you I drink? feel like an ass when I order a martini. Why? And it doesn't even taste as good. I don't know. It's not. Like, it's not as fun. I don't like drinking alone. Oh. And it's not like I'm a it's huge drinker because I don't. I don't drink usually more than one. You are a party animal. <laughs> True. <laughs> Lauren, what do you drink? Scotch oh. or tequila, but you know oh. what? More, it's been scotch and bourbon lately because mm. it's so. Tequila warmed me up to that. It made yeah. it easier for me to step in. So now I'm sort of into that. I came home on Monday night, and for some reason, I needed a glass of wine. <gasps> and I oh. never, I, I really almost never drink alone. Mm. I don't know what it was, and I poured myself a glass of red wine. Opened a bottle. That'll probably go to waste. Mm -hmm. And I was upside down in about 25 minutes. Really? Yes. Lauren was I bombed. I did not enjoy it. Was it. Alcohol. I guess. I did not enjoy it. Right. I you couldn't did it? wait to go to bed. <laughs> right. <was> awful. <laughs> and I, I, I never do that. It was a very rare occasion. I don't drink home. I don't drink at home at all. We don't. No. Do you, Meredith? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you're. Right, after everybody's down Third now. shift. Right, third shift yeah. is the drink. Yeah. Well, right, because I'm out for third shift. Right. Right. So life is different. Exactly. Once you transition out of that. Right. But I'm still in the thick of it. Yeah, no, I remember when I was cooking for the kids, I think I used to pour myself a glass of wine while I was cooking dinner. Um, yeah. 
So I had just been going all day long, and my so head was just full, and I wasn't. I just felt like I needed a glass of wine, and I just thought it would sort of like relax me, and I'd watch a little bit of Boston Legal that I'm watching from the past. And Boston Legal, yes. Who watches Boston Legal? It was. Who's in that? Um, James Spader. Oh yeah, it um, was good. Will but it's kind of weird. Bill Why are you revisiting Winter. it? There's so many good shows. Um, You're missing out on a whole world. Mm, I watched have those too. Have you watched? That's have my... you seen The White Lotus? Yes. Oh. But that's the t- that's I go into these old TV shows for a while and rewatch them. Relaxing, hysterical. Don't judge you. They're you, so you funny. It. You take out of them. I did it because you Lauren did it did when it. we were watching <laughs> when we were twenty. Right. So it's really. I watched Dally McBeal because of Lauren. Okay, right. and she's See? like, I've been watching, and so I was like, that's good. So this I put is that even on. Better. Right. And, but it's very funny. It and is. It's, and it's mindless. And you can play on your phone. It's not like I'm watching a series where I want to pay attention to every single minute. This is, these are series that kind of keep you, at, you it's know, It's kind of like background noise. Background. A little bit of laughing here and there. Yes. That's exactly what it right. is. Right. Get your mind off of work. Right. I, like I do like White Lotus. I watched What's, second episode last night. Oh, you did? Isn't I it mean, great? The characters, the characters are off the yes. cuff. Like, yes, the so casting brilliant. is just fantastic. Yes, they really... I think they had at least one Golden Globe last night. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By um, yeah, what's her name? Oh, I can't think of her name. The one, well, I... you know, the one Jennifer or something. Jennifer, yeah. Con- yes. uh, it's not Con- it's Jennifer. Jennifer um, yeah. I don't know, but I said something yesterday. Meredith goes, "Oh, you just reminded me of Jennifer." Whoever it is in the white lotus. Coolidge, Coolidge. I'm like, well, that's, that's not it. cool. Like, is that I a- think she's amazing. <laughs> she's a great actress. I mean, I mean her did character. You, did you see her in The Watcher? No. Yes. no. I thought she was oh, wonderful we'll in yes. The Watcher. Oh, The Watcher? Oh, I mean, you guys it's have to It's about real estate. It. Yeah. You have to. Oh, really? Yes, I it's real estate it. related. I just oh. think she's so free. She is, it, her character, she just is who she I is. Know. And I love, I love that. She's great in The Watcher. Oh, I have to watch She plays a real estate agent. Yep. Oh. Now, those of you who don't know, Lauren is a manager for Coldwell Banker. Like, high level. Like, Let's really high level. Let's get back to talking about alcohol. Oh. <laughs> by, well, by the way, to, to close out on the wine conversation, I know during, uh, even though you say we don't drink at home, during COVID, I mean, we well, were drinking Anthony, wine out of boxes. Well, right, because yeah. we couldn't go out. <laughs> we there was nowhere to go. But we were drinking red wine like it was going out of style. It was just easier. Right. And can, it was, you, can you imagine that during COVID, I had one glass of wine for in, two, in the till, whole time. No. The entire time. Nope. Can't I don't imagine. like to drink alone. I seriously don't. So that's why I typically don't when I'm home. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I hear crickets. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped the flow. I like to hear partying. <laughs> Who, what do you guys got for trips coming up? Oh my. Well, Meredith, why don't you start? Well, mm. I am going to Florida. Bucket. When? Uh, coming up this mm-hmm, weekend mm-hmm. for a hockey tournament, which is strange to me. Right. Uh, but um, that is I, strange. It is. A hockey tournament in Florida it's like you should be on going to the Canada. ice. Yeah. So my better right. half is going or, to Canada for hockey, yeah. and I'm going to Florida. I feel which like you should be going to North Dakota. I'm very happy about this. At first, I was like, "This is curious," but I'm going to embrace it. <laughs> Very and good. lean into it, which is what I did. And so I planned a bucket list trip on the back end. And what are you doing? Uh, we are going to drive in a Jeep from Fort Lauderdale. You rented Lauderdale. a Jeep? Yes. From Fort Lauderdale to Marathon, where we'll stay for a few days. And um, we'll go to Key West. Mm-hmm. We're going to swim with dolphins. We're going to go to some great restaurants. Amazing. We're going to do a nature tour. Will you be wearing your seashell bikini top? Oh my. Maybe. Maybe. Wow. Amazing. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I've done that drive in the past. I think it's, is it four hours? I think so. All the so. way to Key West? Yeah. 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 You know, and so I, it just seems like such an eclectic place yeah. of cool stops. That's my vision. I think the cool uh, part will also be the keys. You don't realize that yes. Florida Keys, there are many yes. different keys as you go. I yeah, had no idea. When yes. Lauren said, which keys are you going to? I yeah. didn't know there oh, was... Oh, there's like a hundred or so. Like, there's a lot. I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah. a lot. And um, I've been told some of it's honky-tonk. Yeah. Which is awesome. Right. And really relaxed. We're going to go to a turtle hotel. I oh, mean, hi. hospital. What is that? Oh, so all the turtles are being rehabbed? Yeah. Oh. 
That's better than a turtle hotel. <laughs> yeah. Hospital <laughs> makes more sense. Turtle sleeping nobody, in bed with you. Nobody comes out at the turtle hotel. <laughs> <laughs> turtle hotel. Once you go in, you don't come out. All right. What do you guys got? Well, this weekend I have New York. That's right. So where are you staying? Big city of Dream- I forget. Oh. I have to look it up. I'm, Is it I, good? Do you like, or I think just... we're staying across from, well, so we're go- Alexa and I are going to visit Kim, going to visit Kim's daughter, Jordan, who's at New York Law. She's very, very bright. Awesome. So we're going to spend um, the weekend there because it's the long weekend. Um, and Kim said that we are going to a high tea on Sunday. And she called me. She goes, you and I have nothing to wear to a high tea on Sunday. What are we going to wear? And I don't. What am I possibly going to wear to this high tea on Sunday? You can wear a long dress. You can wear a short dress. Ma- uh, Lauren, I don't wear... have anything in my closet right now. Mm. A pair of palazzo pants. Nope. Leggings? So, leggings. And yeah. boots. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so we're doing that. So that's going to be fun. Of course, we're visiting Canal Street. Can we just go back to what to wear? Yeah. I say go what your first reach for comfortable would be and dress it up with some nice jewelry. Because yeah. the thing is, it's going to be cold. Yeah, it it's is. It's winter. It's going to be right. freezing in I Manhattan. I have a cute pair of sweater pants you that know? are kind of like... Yeah, they're cute. Be cozy, be warm, and dress it up with some jewelry. Because otherwise, yeah. if you try to do something that you're not, you're going to hate it. Especially oh, high miserable. tea because it's so formal. Don't you think, Lauren? Yes, I agree with that. And the other thing, and I can't stand packing. And F- FYI, next month, I don't know if I told you, we're going to Aruba. Oh, I did yes, tell you. Yes, yeah, yes. we're going to Aruba next That's month. Awesome. We're staying at the Ritz. That's going to be so much, oh, fun. So much fun. Big group? Just you guys? Uh, just and another couple. Kimmy and Ronnie. Mr. Right. and Mrs. Imbernoni. Should oh, be fun. For how long? Uh, for f- five days, ten. Yeah, five days. Yeah, five days. Yeah, yeah. Huh. That's gonna be fun. I've never been to Aruba. Everybody else on this planet has been to Aruba. Yeah, the weather is nice all year round. The yep. food is absolutely delicious. So yep. I'm really looking forward to it's it. It's been over 30 years since I went to Aruba. But so the problem is, folks, so that I packed away all my summer stuff mm-hmm. and put them in big, giant zip-up bags. Yeah. And schlepped them up a spiral staircase. Lauren knows it well because I bought her parents' condo. And put them in the storage. And you can go up the spiral staircase. Oh, no, no, no. I'm them. not getting doing that. All right. Here we go. Well, it, it's on the honeymoon. But now I have to go through five or six bags. Mm-hmm. What am I bringing? I hate. So it's going to be hot there. Packing. Yes. It's going to be hot. Yeah, yeah. the average is, uh, it's between, I think it's uh, 80, 85, they said on average. Yeah, All right, so you know what, I'm not going to overthink it. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to overthink it. Bathing think, suits and bathing suit cover-ups. Think about what you want to wear right. before you even go upstairs. So right. So in yeah, your head, point. are you wearing jeans, capri jeans? Are you wearing white pants? Are you wearing dresses? Like, think about it before you go up. Think about what you have. Maybe you don't have any of these things and it's time to buy a couple of pieces. Why don't you just buy some new stuff? I might just you go, have time. honestly, I might just go see Shoshana Admission oh my. and buy some stuff. Then you'll be happy. I'll I don't know about Shoshana Admission. What, what is this? Lauren. Where is this? Fabulous what boutique is this? right at Cobb Corner. Really? Yes, you would love it. You did just say mm. Cobb Corner. It's because it's not Cobb's. I always say Cobbs, and you're not. exactly right. I can't help myself. I it's, grew up down the street from there. I mean, I always you call it Cobbs. Right. We always. I grew up saying Cobbs too. So well, Alexa weird. gets irritated when I say Cobb. But my friend Deb Rice pointed it out years ago. There's no S. It's Cobb mm. Corner. <laughs> that would be so Deb. Right. <laughs> so check out Mission at Cobb. Tones. What will Corner. you be wearing to Aruba? And they have, or um, bringing, I should say. Yes. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm. I'm yes. not on the same page with her with putting clothes away. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I have a. I have a draw with all my fun so shorts. Easy. It'll be shorts, right. t-shirts, right. some flip-flops, and a couple of Five dress outfits of shorts. for dinner. Right. Yeah. Five shirts. Like it's a I think joke. We're good. Yeah. Lauren, I know you. You are a huge packer. Lauren just bought new too luggage. Much. Oh, I want to hear about your new luggage. What did you get? Did you do to me? I did. Wow. I did. And they're pretty. Lauren is the one who talked me into a Toomey, and it is the best decision I've ever made. My piece of Toomey luggage. I am obsessed. Okay, but it's with a fortune. So what? How, so where where is it worth it? Okay, and I and I and and this is I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not a Hobonichi person, right? Right. And I now carry a Hobonichi. Hmm. So I I needed luggage because my big piece 
which was a cheap piece, whatever, broke. I go with my daughter. She needs uh, luggage. And she's the type of person that needs it right now. Mm. So there's no waiting. That's how long she, it There's is. no researching. Is she my daughter? <laughs> uh, probably. <laughs> and so we just went to TJ Maxx. She didn't want to go to multiple TJ Maxx. She didn't want to go to Marshall's. She didn't want to research. She didn't want to look it away. She didn't want to, like, none of that. And so I just bought her that. But And so I bought a piece, too, because I needed it. I didn't know if I'd have time. I've been looking it away. So tell me about To Me and why it's worth the price. Well, I'm not a salesperson for them. However, I think to the you, biggest, I mean. to me, I think the it's it's resistant. And most of all, the zippers. Oh, I the can zippers. overload yes. that piece of luggage. And me if too. I sit on it... So that the zipper will the zipper closes and it, you'll see it stretch and stretch. It never breaks. And your initials are on it. Well, there's that. Actually, I have my name on this one. Oh. But it's the the zippers are amazing, and they just they they really do not look like junk it's after durable. one, you know, one trip because right. they the, the luggage gets ruined. Right. So I used to have other luggage. I had Delcy, which is good. I bought years ago. And they would be marked with, you know, black mark, like whatever, whatever happens at the airlines. Lauren was disgusted because she and I had flown on a private jet to Las Vegas. <laughs> so I had a piece of luggage with a broken handle. Here I am going on a private jet with disgusting luggage, like a poor person <laughs> with a broken handle. It handle. wasn't just the broken Lauren handle. Lauren goes, I'm pretty sure it was ripped in a couple of places and <laughs> had Lauren's a lot like, of marks on it. This is disgusting. She goes, I am taking you right to the Toomey store. I'm like, okay. I just said you really do need another piece of luggage. I said, why don't you just shop here and see what you think? So we walked down to Toomey. I looked in the window. I said, oh, I, I walked into the Toomey store and I said, I'll take that piece and that piece. Well, you're a bag person. Well, yes, and it was a beautiful cranberry now, does color. Now, you organize your stuff in a different manner? No. Well, they oh. have a lot of pockets. I mean, yeah. the one that I just bought actually has a lot of pockets that are on the side that you don't really see. So there are things that also get attached in or out if you choose to. The but hanging section. Now, Stephanie oh, told me one time one you, of my like, best. The opened up your suitcase and all of a sudden you pulled something yes. out and everything was hung yes. up. So they have That's they have hangers. They actually have hangers that fit in their hanging space, and you put them on, and then they have things that hang from the hangers, so you can add different things onto it. So you can literally put like three pairs of clothes on one hanger. She, she and literally. The, yeah. And it has a cover case, so you put yes. the hangers in the cover case, and it automatically is already set to fold. They have automatic folds in there, and you fold it up and you put it in there, and again everything zips you push everything mm. in you put stuff underneath what your clothing is is you know where your clothing is being hung you put things in between now do you roll yeah. do you I, got, roll. I, I roll, roll. yeah I'm i roll, roll. oh put my god things I love in that. your shoes i don't use packing your hat cubes either because underneath don't really your hat i kind of want packing cubes though I but like yeah so we went on a trip Lauren, my suitcase is a mess of course because you know me yeah. everything's thrown in i try to be neat but i'm just i'm not a neat person Lauren unzips her to me, grabs her hangers, hangs everything up. She goes, I'm done. Well, that's what stuck with me. I mean, it was, I'm like, what? Yeah. And it was so, like voodoo. Yeah. It's, it was amazing. You also got me a crossbody, which was very nice of you. Thank you. Yes. And Anthony's initials, I'm sure you'll, you'll all love to hear this, are A-R-S. Arse. Arse. <laughs> so I got arse monogrammed. On his cross body. <laughs> and he wears it proudly. I am you a know, proud house. Some people don't have fun initials. Mm. I always wanted fun initials, but some people, they just, it just fits. Not that ours fits with <laughs> well, you. Well. It's just the fact that you have initials so that makes sense. There's a whole makes theme sense. of ours with my name. So I, you know, my last name is Sorez. Um, yes, Sorez. That, it's interesting that, yeah. what's interesting to me is that Anthony says Sorez. But his siblings say sores. Is so it really an S? I, <laughs> this is where I get confused. So when he joined Cole Baker, I said, are you using Anthony? Are you using Tony? Yes. Are you Tony Sores? Yes. Are you Anthony Sorez? Yes. Are you Tony Sorez? Yes. Who are, are you? you? Who yes. are you? And so he forgot who he was. No, I didn't. It depends on the moment. All of the above. Thank you. Yeah, but I just get confused when you say Sorez and your siblings say sores. Listen, if I'm talking to someone from Dorchester, it's sores. If I'm talking to somebody from South America, from, from Brazil, it's or some, Schwarz. Schwarz. Or Swash. So fancy. Thank you. Yeah. 
Can I tell you something fun and exciting? Yes. yes. Please. I have been learning Spanish from an app. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. So I no longer listen to my podcast or music in the car. I think I know why. Oh. It's actually good for your brain. Is it oh. Babbel? <laughs> It's not Babel. Lauren's been spending more time in Miami. Rosetta Stone? Uh, it's not Rosetta Stone. <laughs> Lauren has a new boyfriend who, who lives in Miami, and this is why Lauren is learning Spanish. A lot she of just Spanish didn't speak. decide one day, I'm going to learn Spanish. I, I, now, There's a lot of Spanish-speaking people Now, so there. you people know there out there in TV land or podcast land, Lauren and I have been friends for 20, 30. almost 30 years. Yeah. So I know the reasons behind. Yeah, but well, hold on. But you know what? There are a lot of Spanish-speaking people. And am I wrong? He's Jewish, right? Yeah. Should he be learning Hebrew him. or something? It's I, not I don't about get him. It. It's oh. about Lauren. Does he speak? Lauren, oh. does he speak Spanish? He speaks a little, but he doesn't speak it fluently or anything like that. Oh. Yeah. No, it's actually. You could practice with Anthony. Anthony yeah. speaks Spanish. He's he's trilingual. So it's been fun. I it's, I'm say something to us. In no, no, I'm on. I'm on. No, no. Me llamo Stephanie. Soy de Sota. There you go. There you go. And see. That was actually pretty good. Thank I, you. I took it in high school, and you. It's amazing how much you forget. But some of the words come back. So but are they teaching you in phrases? To me, yes. And uh-huh. that's what's amazing is how fast you're, you're learning the words. Did you say you're doing Rosetta? No, it's oh. Um, pen, oh, an app. Pinsler. Oh. Pinsler. And oh. actually what started it was um, a month ago we had a manager meeting and the managers were all talking about it because they're all going to Italy oh, and they're yeah. all going to Paris really? and everyone's traveling and oh. they've been learning languages from Pinsler. So great. That. And that's what made me think, oh, okay, I'm around another language now from time to time right. when I visit and people do speak a lot I in love Spanish it. down in Miami I love it. and I don't know what they're saying. So I said, oh. And, you know, anything at this point that you can learn that makes you activate your brain, that's different. I'm Wordle. Like, okay. I love it. But that does Wordle. and it doesn't because I think that after a while your brain gets used to it. But Wordle? Yeah. It, your brain just gets used to I anything. I to do it today. Did you do it? I did. Oh, I didn't do oh, it. Oh, what'd you either. get, Lauren? I think I got four today. Hmm. Maybe five, but four. Four, okay. I think. Um, I've been trying to learn Greek. So there you go. It's good, though. It's good for the brain. I learned the Greek swears when I worked at a Greek pizza Mm, shop. Malaka. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I learned some nasty ones. Yeah. I also learned to say, estoy aprendiendo español, so that when I was speaking with people, they knew that I was learning to speak, Mm. and they they would put, they would dumb down their expectation. I'm learning Spanish, yes. I took Spanish one for several years in high school. Oh, God. (laughs) Well, that if you is, don't use it so, though, yes, it doesn't. Right. It goes away. I mean, I took it for so many years, but I never, except for one quick experience in Baja, I needed to find out where the Red Sox were playing, where we got beer, and where to get tacos, and that was the highlight of my mm. nine years of Spanish. I spoke. I took pinnacle. Latin for the first two years, and then then Spanish. So the first year, my junior year learning Spanish I learned a lot of just you learn vocabulary right but the second year was my senior year so no Mm. I wasn't paying attention right so they say immersion's the best way I could tell you when I was in I went to the Olympics in 2016 for work oh I I spent six weeks there you also were on TV I did Mm. make the uh, I was on the Today Show yep back when uh, Matt Lauer was there but that's a whole other conversation Um, so I uh, but I can tell you in six weeks I became the translator for for many of our team that were there from Europe and Asia and everywhere else. Oh, just because you had the base. I had the base, and mm-hmm. so it improved it quite a bit, I think, in that six-week six week period, yeah. Huh. So immersion's kind of fun. So if you really want to learn it, just go to Mexico for Anthony, a what languages do you speak? Uh, Criollo, which is a Say dialect of... Say uh, something in Criollo. Cusé que vous crée panfra. What do you want me to say? Um. Never mind. Let's just leave that. Uh, so, and then Portuguese, which Say is, something in Portuguese. I don't... Portuguese is. Eu a falo português. I speak Portuguese. Portuguese. But, yeah. And uh, Spanish, some Spanish, and uh, and English. I think I'm. I, English. I, yeah. I may have mastered that. Yeah. I'm getting better at. He it. does beat. He is really good in Wordle. Can I tell my one yes. Senor Foley story? <laughs> yes, please. You've heard it. You've heard it a million times, Senor. Meredith, but it's really my one of my favorite stories from my mother, um, because I took Spanish one for every single year in high school. So my mother had to go for my conference, and she goes, hello, Senor Foley. And he said, hello. He said, Stephanie is not studying. 
she is not doing any of her homework. She doesn't pay attention in class. My mother said, Senor Foley, I'm tired. <laughs> Stephanie is my second child. I have put all my eggs in one basket with my eldest daughter. If Stephanie doesn't want to study, that's on her. I don't care. <laughs> Senor Foley stood there with his mouth open, and that was the end of that. <laughs> and that's probably why the two of you are so different. Yes. <laughs> Mother was tired. Well, you know. You what teacher? Has any other teacher heard that from heard a that. parent? I'm tired, Senor probably Foley. Probably not. I'm tired. Well, usually because they don't go at that point. Yeah. But you do get beat down. We had this conversation about my youngest wants a cell phone. And he's in fourth grade. Yeah. What do you think? And he he's is just... ten? He's ten. It's ten. too young. He doesn't need it. So there's no need here. I think he just wants it because he wants yet another gaming system. Okay. I said give it to him. This is what Stephanie said. Ugh. She goes, you have fight left after the other two? Who cares? Like, who cares? No. Give it to How him. old were the other two when they Well, so it? originally I was going to be that on the eighth grade plan. But fast forward, the general population is Six. sixth for the start of middle school and and so I think there's some FOMO there because he watches his brother and sister mm -hmm. in the car wherever they want on the couch and but interestingly enough prior to 2020 prior to the lockdowns we were a no device household mm. there were no gaming systems there were no iPads wow. nothing wow and then that's impressive the yeah. lockdowns but it wasn't because that was there was some normalcy to it at the time because there was no need and we lead such busy lives and they're busy with school and they're just there wasn't a need for them to communicate with each other yet mm -hmm. and then the lockdowns hit and they had no way to communicate with their friends mm -hmm. and they needed to tap into school what because about, we didn't have a chromebook what about an ipad so that he's he got can, one oh he's got an oculus he's got a ps5 he's got a switch i'm not saying he needs to get an iphone 14 what about one that was just for emergency purposes? Well, he wants it because he wants to play right. with it. You can still put a lot of uh, you know restrictions on it. So wait a minute, well, I have an old iPhone. If you, open up, if you open up a new phone line, you get a new phone. Mm. Right. Oh. So that's why the other oh. kids got oh, like, Meredith, just top notch get iPhones. Get him one. I don't know. It's such a. It's such. It like this is the world we're in now. Can we put this to a vote? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Who thinks? What does it mean? Kiki. How do I do on the fence? Kiki, you should get one. <laughs> I need to hear more about Lauren's what he's not ready to vote. No. What he's saying. So I asked, you. what's your vote going to be? I asked his pediatrician. How old was your daughter and she when she said, got her phone? Probably the same. Probably about 10. Yeah. I think it depends on the kid. The pediatrician was like, ah, there's just so much there. What about his friends? I know. They're all starting to get them. Okay. Well, So, so that would matter a little bit to yeah. me. Not that you have to do what ever, everyone else does, but it's more the feeling of not being a part of. Well, and he also did get in trouble with Facebook Messenger because he wasn't mature enough. And he oh. was blocking people, saying things he shouldn't say. <laughs> so I didn't hear about this. Yes. So <laughs> then if you... So if, if, if and when you do that, there really would have to be restrictions on things that you say to him and clearly tell him if that happened again, you're going to lose the phone for four months. Can't you put some type of parental controls on it, blocking the internet? Yeah. They are, but then why get it? For texting. But you don't have to block everything. You can block certain oh, sites. I have to transition. Content. Why? So we had a pediatrician appointment yesterday. And? Wow. The questions they ask. Really? What? Wow. Have you sexted anybody? Oh. I mean... This was he was asking you or? Wait a minute. Yeah, this is Ooh. not her 10 year old. This is her 13 year old. 13 year old. Oh. Meredith has a gaggle of geese at home. Yes. Hmm. Have you, I mean, the questions were like, wow. All types of drug questions, all types of alcohol questions, all types of sex questions, all types of device questions wow. with sex, with pornography. What? You name it. Are you serious? So the, even the point now, he's got a phone. He can read us some of this. Some of this genuinely, he was like, uh, that's a no. <laughs> well, and he's nervous. Like maybe Certainly. putting bugs in his head. Like yes. ideas. Well, the he's other like, thing is, have you too... ever driven high? And I'm like, I think I need to tell them. Driven high? Have you ever driven high? Or have you ever driven with anyone who was high? He, first of all, wow. he can't drive. He's 13. Yeah, right. 13. So why are they getting these questions so to them? Bizarre. Stupid. How dare they? I, like, I, I like, really was well, a little bit I, bothered. I think they were probably uh, egging him on to say, no, but my mom has. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's they do do that. Like, are you safe at home? Right. Oh yeah, but that's you know, always 16, been a question. I could see that, but right, that's but thirteen, thirteen. So wow. Some of those, I agree. And Easton just had this whole thing with the uh, survey, and there are people who justify it. They say, "Well, you know, kids are different today, and you have to be able to ask these questions." And I'm like, "I don't." think so i think i'd want to see the questions before i go in next time so yeah. if you're going to ask questions i want to know what those are in advance so how embarrassing for him something. yeah especially in front of his mother yeah it's one thing if he's in there you know it was just it was a lot it was a lot it was a lot wow Ooh. that appointment was a lot that's awful yeah. i'm so glad i didn't have to deal with that hmm. no and now you get all the vaccine questions you know because everybody feels one way or another right sure. after sure. the past two years mm-hmm. yeah. So then that becomes a, a whole question. other. And you right. don't know where your doctor stands one way or another. And it was a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. That is heavy. <sighs> my mother used to um, forge my doctors. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when you had to go to the doctor, when you had to go back into school back when I was a kid, oh. you had to go for a doctor appointment. Yes. Right? Every year, yearly, you had mother to Mother would that. just forge doctor Dr. Trachis. Dr. Trachis, she would write. Wow. Because she didn't take you guys to the doctor? Nah. Huh. She's busy. You're not Christian scientists. No. Don't they not believe in? No, but I used to get in trouble if I had a cold. What do you have a cold for? What? You know what? You're staying home alone. My mother could not deal with sickness. Oh. Yeah. Some people can't. Yeah, it wasn't her jam. I used to get fennel tea when I was sick with honey in it. Oh, my father made me gargle with salt water. Oh, that Lauren? too. I don't remember. Dimetap was my mother's Dimetap. cure. Dimetap. Dimetap. Oh, I miss Dimetap. <laughs> I, I think do Dimetap remember, transitioned to Sudafed. I do remember when I was really young having a very bad chest cold, and my dad would put um, vapor. Oh, yeah. oh, the Vicks yeah. rub. Yeah. Yep. Vapor rub right, on and there. The, and that was like the, the only time my dad would ever like take care of you in that kind of nurturing way. Right. So yeah. we, we would line up as kids uh, and my father would give us a teaspoon of cod liver oil. Oh, how fun. So we, and that was a regular <laughs> thing with us. Wow. Yeah, Doesn't that give like, you oh, diarrhea though? No, yeah. I, I don't remember. Probably. Yeah. It's yeah. locked what it about, Very possible. <laughs> Tony's brother Joe was lactose intolerant. Yeah. And what did your father so every we, morning? He would make oatmeal. Do you all have high cholesterol? <laughs> he would I'm make, just trying to track what this is done would, for He the would kids. make oatmeal and he would put milk in the oatmeal. We all loved it. My brother Joe, for whatever reason, would never finish his oatmeal. <laughs> so my father would my father would just stare at him and we literally felt like being in a movie theater we would sit there just staring at joe waiting for everything to go sideways because he wouldn't eat and then my father would be yelling at him then he would eat and then he would eventually get sick but it was a whole he thing. would throw up eventually figured out lactose he, had, he was lactose intolerant yeah. oh, the it reminds me of the time when i was a young gal in greece and we were traveling up the mountainside in a car with my uncles whoever was in the car and we, it was a long way up to the top of the mountain. And we had to keep beeping the horn in case another car was coming. We drove up and we drove up and we drove up. We finally got to the top. And what was the, at the top of the mountain? But an old Greek lady with gold teeth. <laughs> and we say, Dikanis. And she goes over to the goat that she was milking. <laughs> she continues to milk the goat. Next thing I know, my father slams down a warm glass of goat's milk oh. and tells me to drink it. Oh. Yeah. No wonder you hate milk. Yeah. And you did it. I drank it, and then it came right back up. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Well, first of all, warm milk. I'm sorry. That but trip was something special. It was something special, folks. Let me tell you what else. So I'm a young girl, seven years old. First of all, I was petrified. A lot of the women in Greece at that time didn't shave under their arms. Oh. Mm-hmm. And so they would lift their arms, and I would see these bushes. And I'm like, oh. <gasps> and the other thing that triggered me was the bathroom scene in Greece. So to go to the bathroom in a lot of these places, it was just footprints and a hole in the ground. Oh, so I couldn't go. Oh. I couldn't go, and I couldn't go, and I couldn't go. And it was bad. And we were traveling one day, and I couldn't go. And of course, I was dying. 
and I kept trying and I couldn't go. Finally, we pulled over to a gas station because they had a toilet and I, everybody was waiting for me, everyone, and I couldn't go. Finally, my father slammed open the door. This is this is how I grew up, folks. My father slams open the door, slaps me across the face. It's another fond memory of Greece. Well, I guess it worked. Yes. All right. You? These? I'm, I'm a little speechless. I, I feel like I should call DSS. I don't know what just happened. I think we should move just out of the small memory. Just glimpse. Small <laughs> glimpse into my childhood. Me- memory brings. Yes. So something uh, that was brought up uh, to talk about is um, it's interesting because it actually sparked conversation that we have in our family. And that was butter on your popcorn. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. When we get popcorn, I do not allow my children to get the butter. Is it for their health? No. It's because their greasy little fingers will be all over everything. And there will be grease everywhere. Ah, humbug. That's me. (laughs) Um, I have very important information about this. Okay. At the Randolph Movie Theater. Right. They will not layer your butter. So what you have to do, and Lauren, we know it's not good for you. It doesn't matter. It's all chemicals. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I had butter on my popcorn, but right, that's okay. Fine. So but this, what's the reason? I don't know. So this is what you have to do. If you say you want layer, you want butter. They'll put in some popcorn. You have to take the popcorn, bring it over to the butter, put your butter on, bring the popcorn back to them. They'll put in another layer. You take it back over to the butter, put your butter on, whoa, bring it whoa, back over whoa. to them. Yes, yes. wait no, a minute. This is yes. real. This wait is a minute. Very You're real. blowing my mind <laughs> Most right now. Most of the time, they usually just put it on the top. And yeah, we just you, heard this. You don't just put the butter on the top? You. What do you mean? You go a lot of people. So they keep the butter separate. A lot now. of so people imagine, layer. So when they're doing like, it, explain layering. So you can go up and when you order your popcorn, say, I want the butter layered. Oh. So Instead of them just putting it on top. Yeah. So they'll layer it. So they, they used to put the popcorn in, put the butter, put the popcorn, butter, popcorn, and the butter. They won't do that anymore. You have to do it yourself. I have never and why heard of did, What's but, the reason? But I don't, the butter is now in a different section. So literally, know. they'd have to put the popcorn in. You'd have to walk over to the butter, put you some butter, walk, walk, walk back to them, have them put more popcorn, walk back to the butter. So maybe, if you wanted the layer, it could take forever. Maybe it's because they got too many complaints that people were... Oh, that, that people were not happy with the amount of butter in. Oh, you ruined my popcorn. You put too much in. Or you didn't put enough. Well, I, I would know never why. complain. That's I know so why. bizarre. COVID? COVID. Totally How caused, caused you to catch COVID. <laughs> yeah, you did catch COVID. If they did the layering of they, the butter, you would totally you catch, would COVID. catch COVID. I mean, but if you do your own, you will not. I, oh, I am, goodness. my mind is, well, never in a trillion years would I ever get popcorn with butter at the movie theater. Like, huh. I'm taking your kids to the movies. Those poor <laughs> souls. Okay, you get them cell phones, but you won't let them have buttered popcorn. They. This is what they're going to talk about. You talk about your trip to Greece. They're going to talk about how deprived they were because never would I even think about allowing them to have butter on there. Oh my! And my what? father loved butter. He would be. He would be ashamed of me. <laughs> Legit. And I'm like, that, is... that just sounds disgusting uh, because it's not real butter. Real butter, sure. Oh, Meredith, like you don't eat chemicals on a daily basis? <laughs> okay, I do. Yeah. But, I mean, come I on, mean, the fake butter is delicious. I, I did drink cider here from, from the studio. So, exactly. And I enjoy it. You know what else that is absolutely fascinating that Lauren told me about mm-hmm. when we went over her house a couple of weeks ago? She and Lee have been going out to various restaurants in Miami, and you are not, not going to believe this one. In some restaurants, you are being charged for ice. Mm-hmm. What? what? Four dollars or five dollars for Whoa. when you have a drink. And no, it's not ice water. It's when you have a drink. The cube. They charge you for the cube. The first time we saw it, we did not understand. They said, "Excuse me, garçon." Because Is that how you say waiter and? I, I, I don't, I'm not on that line. That's in a French um, restaurant, for sure. Yeah. Um, they do not show it anywhere. They do not tell you about you know on, on the menu at all. They do not prepare you at all. So it's interesting because it's not everywhere. And also, when we at Boston, 
What? I can't believe it. I don't it. even get how to I'm not going to mention the restaurant. Is it a special cue? Mention it. Sansi. <gasps> wow. So, so we brought them over. So at least down there, they just said, no, this is just something that we do. But up here, they said that when they put the ice in, they give you more a, more, a larger pour. It's ridiculous. It's the opposite, it right? Is the because opposite. The, when the ice is in, it looks like you have a larger pour. Do they really put a larger pour? So we ended up ordering straight, neat, and ice water on the side. Wow. I put my own ice in the drink. This is what is happening. So now I'm there, starting folks. to ask when we go out all the different places, so, um, which are so fun. But at different places. And a lot what of do you times say, excuse they look, me, do you charge for ice? Right. I yeah. order the drink and I say, by the way, do you charge for ice? When they say on the rocks or, or neat. And I ask the question. And sometimes they look at me like I have two heads. And I'm like, okay, obviously so they the don't. Mia, so, but you'd be surprised. Is so it a special cube? You know, sometimes you think the mixologists. You would think, Marino, you know, it's, it's not. water that is frozen. It's not <laughs> no always. No monograms. No, like, nope, smoking. No, nope. frozen I, water. I think it's tied to something else. So there is. So there are certain restaurants you go to. For example, we went to the Windsor House, I think, in uh, Duxbury. I don't recall. Good restaurant. Um <laughs> And uh, one of the charges they have on their check is a, um, it's a service charge, but it's not the tip. It's for the, for the folks working in the back room. So they add 8% to your bill. Eight is a lot. 8%. I was so a- it's added to your bill. And I yeah. think what's happening is some restaurants are getting a little more creative and trying to charge for ice That's or whatever right. it is to make a little extra money to give to the back room. That's what I'm thinking is happening, so but they Newton, are they really? Is the back room really getting? They should Newton, be honest. If so, in Newton, I was eating at a restaurant that we were. I was charged three percent for Kitchen Love, which one? And there you go. Um, Sycamore. Wow. Kitchen Love. Kitchen and so, love. This does is... it go to that? Now I know employees are getting more money today than they were. Right. The food prices have gone up, so maybe. You know, everything on the menus are also more expensive, but so maybe expensive. they're trying to keep it down because of the high cost. But wow. put it on the menu. Like, it, it's... Be it upfront. Feels, it fe- right. It feels like you're being Deceptive. cheated yes. when you see yep. something on your bill and it makes you look at every single exactly. bill. Well, I think if that were given a litmus test, it's being deceptive. If yes. you're being charged for something that you're not told up front. Right. right. Just throw it it's on not the a tip. Yes. You're being charged exactly. 4 to $5 for an ice cube. Nonsense. Yes, that's mind blowing. It yeah. really is. Wash. And they're racking up the money on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because half the time people are half in the bag, not asking. drunk, they don't even look at the bill. Right. Well, are you too embarrassed to ask? Right? right. So that's why they do it. Yeah. Yeah. They don't you make don't it like it's bill. a tip. I don't look at the bill. I say, Anthony, look at the bill. Okay. Because so you... one time he didn't look at the bill. And oftentimes we actually we don't look at the bill. And then all of a sudden I got a call later that evening from one of the bartenders and she said, I just want to let you know that I charged you for a full dinner that you never even got. Yeah. Well, that's because you go to the same place. And then, of course, I screamed. I was in trouble. Anthony, you didn't even look. (laughs) He got. So I look now. Well, but if you go to the same place and you generally know what your price is, why would you question exactly? Exactly. Well, Anthony did say later on that night, I did think it was a little high. Okay, so you you drive up to whatever coffee shop it is that nothing special. Yeah, you get a cup of coffee and at the drive through and there and you didn't ask for anything particular. You just got a nice coffee with milk, let's say, or cream or whatever. And on the window is a tip jar. Mm. Yes. Someone explain to me what that tip was for. I use my app. Okay. I'm kidding, because um, then it doesn't allow you. Yeah, well, yeah. no, it's... like Starbucks immediately gives me a second screen that says oh, tips. Well, I think anybody tips, that's right? working yeah. the window shares those tips. But why yeah. do they? Why are they getting tipped? Well, they made the coffee, so I don't really have like a horror. Like that to me it's is optional. an off. But yeah. when you go into, what do you mean? Why are they getting tipped? Why well, are they getting tipped? They made your coffee for they you. They made your coffee. But that's their job. But when I, when Excuse you go me. into... I'm playing devil's advocate here. What about when you go into a restaurant, for instance, yep. and you... Why tip a waitress, then? There's a... Why tip your server because, in Crescent Ridge? Because a server gets paid less than minimum wage because they're dependent on the tips. tips. But when They you, don't make a full minimum wage. What about if you worked at Crescent Ridge? Oh Would my. you tip? Your person that made you an ice cream cone? If they went above and beyond, because now they're getting paid above and beyond for their hourly wage. But if you 
that's what I'm, I'm curious because yeah. what it, the tip if it is if a tip jar is out there you to get your guilty. coffee right right the expectation is there for your tipping I'd like to talk more Adam? about I'd like to talk oh. more about thanks Anna the screen five minutes that gets folks. flipped when you use a card in a in, in any place now right. and it gets flipped to you right. with the tip on there right. of what you're going to do or other or no tip right. yeah and that's even if you bring something up to the counter, they flip this yes. like as if you're going to give them a tip because why they ring it in. Uh, also, where I got my ham and cheese calzone last night on their screen was for a tip, and I don't, I don't really understand what I'm tipping. I, so, I don't. Mm-hmm. It's for a service or going above and beyond, well, unless I you're like, in a restaurant where they're serving you. I agree, and but no, but you're what supposed I like, to serve. You're supposed to tip for takeout. So, so here's the thing: what I like, I is, always tip for takeout. But, but what I like is that's I feel optional. Like you don't. I do, that's but that's optional. Oh. That's giving you options to do that. Right. Whereas what we were talking about before, where they're sneaking in a yes. line item yes. that says eight yes. percent right. to tip whatever. Oh, agreed. That's painful. That's deceptive right. practice. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So but I, I guess I don't have as much of a problem with the tip jar. There's deceptive, and then there's an expectation. That's true. You know, which quite frankly. I usually go for it. I don't always have cash to throw in a cash jar right. there, to Lauren's point. You know, you're yeah. doing the app. But I've always been curious about that. When you make my coffee, what's going on here that's above and beyond to get tipped? Or is because they're getting hourly wage. Whereas when you talk about in the restaurants, they're not getting hourly wage. They make, I don't know what it is today. But when I was a server, it was $2.30 I know, an remember hour. that? Yeah. I have yeah. no idea what it's service more. made. It's gone up a bit. Yeah. I know my daughter works at a country club in... Well, and you know what's so. curious too is well, around the holidays we're tipping higher. everybody yeah I, we tip the garbage guy i tip the mail guy right. i tip the teacher the, and then when the you go then when you go to that. shaw's or do you want to round up do you want to donate to this yeah. You, oh yeah it's just yes, constant yeah. yeah i'm drained folks drained mm-hmm. oh all right well i think we're running out of time <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna cost us <laughs> uh, Real quick, Lauren, what's yes. your uh, forecast for the real estate market oh, in the greater yes. Boston area? We want to know what your thoughts are yeah, and what so you're seeing. I uh, had a meeting yesterday and heard some take on what's going on out there. There's not a lot of inventory. Mm. But the inventory that is there, if it's not priced beyond, then it's re- very, very, very active. A lot of buyers out there right now. People are not scared. The numbers have come down. Um, there are creative ways to keep the, the numbers which numbers? Down. Interest rates. Interest rates. Uh, mortgage interest um, rates. Yes, mortgage rates. So um, there are some properties that are still trying to get last year's prices in the height of. But if they're somewhere between, you know, coming down just a tad, there's still a lot of a-, a lot of activity out there. So based on low inventory and more buyers coming into the market, you were anticipating a really good spring market? Or it's, are we going to have stall out because we don't have the inventory? Again? I think people will put property on the market. I think the first half of the year is going to be good. Uh-huh. I think it's going to be busy. Yeah. Okay. I think it's going to be crazy. I think it's going to go crazy again where people were, are bidding fifty and $100,000 over mm-hmm. only because there's absolutely nothing on the market. Mm-hmm. Folks, you got to sell your houses. Oh, right? Just well, go rent. We need your house. <laughs> all right. Well, I think that's the show. I wish we had another hour, but we don't. Thanks for coming, Lauren. Thanks for coming. Oh, thank Tom. you so much, Thanks. Lauren. Yeah. Anthony Soares, Tony Soares, uh, Marin <laughs> Keach, me, Wintini. We're going to take a break next week. Maybe Friday. We'll We're going to take a break and then we'll be back. Yeah. So thanks everyone for joining us. Thank you. This is great. Thanks, guys. Great to be have, here. A have a good day. Thanks for listening. Well. Bye, everyone.